Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. You're back on the uh, old Transport Fever 2 Metropolis. And uh, yeah, that's me sat in the uh, sat in the cab of the uh, of the plane there. I'm I'm one of those two. Yeah, of course I am. I bottled it, friends. I bottled it. Yeah, uh, I'm not not going to lie. I missed a bit there. I moved the track. I know, I know. It would have been it would have been glorious, and I should have done it at least once. But shut up, um, because uh, now nah, I've shuffled it over this way. Um, because it was it was bleeding off so much speed that it just made no sense at all. So I've run it so that it links up directly with it. Why, well, yes, I'm glad you noticed. I did plant some trees. What's, what's that doing there? Uh, I did plant some trees. Yeah, I think it looks rather. I think it looks rather festive, um, which is nice. Uh, that's not all I did. I put a bus in there. Yeah, and uh, and I and I put another one over there. And I put I parked a, parked a Hercules in front of it as well. Because why not? Um, but but that wasn't all. No, I did some more. I decided that uh, I was going to kick this project over the line uh, with today's episode. So I wanted to get a little bit further ahead of the curve. I've not done all of it. Don't worry. There's there's still plenty for you to see today. Uh, what have I what have I accomplished? Um, right. I've built out the uh, the freight terminal here. There's there's a boat. It sits there. It does things smidge of decoration just you know a delicate amount of decoration a couple of containers kind of floating around in there built the road out alongside so that's that's all good and i've redirected the uh, the grain trucks that were working over in this direction to deliver to do de to deliberate here yes they well that's what they'll be doing i also experimented a little not happy with it yet by plunking in hold on because i built the road here as well you see but uh, you see, I even put a rad lobster sign there because it's cool. Um, plunked in a couple of buildings just to see if that would work as a motif. Hey, right? I think it does. I think a little bit more work, a, little, a few more danglers wouldn't go amiss. And I did one more thing, and that was I built the. Well, I say one more thing. I built a depot. Uh, so we we continue the just to show you where we're at here. Continue the track onwards out to a flaming enormous depot over here which you know i've done my usual multi-track i've got some uh, some extra stock stick uh, kicking around ready to be put into use uh, and and uh and i built out the coal mine uh yeah because i'm gonna do the coal mine i think it looks good i i think it does i think it looks good took a couple of hours um and it was it was largely me, you know, just footling around, sticking a few things in, bit bit of paintbrush. Uh, but it's it it's not what I would call a done kind of scenic operation. It is instead a nod towards it because you don't want to go overboard everywhere because your frame rate drops to nothing. So I've got uh, I've got some sidings here that are just sidings, uh, and they all link onto here. I got this doing all of that kind of business. Here's the flyover ramp. To get to the depot, which is excessive but marvellous, um, rebuilt this bit of road. Nothing much, not a lot. No, 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 no. Should we? Should we do something actually on camera? Right. I've been considering the uh, the best approach to carry on. What have we actually got to do? What have I left for us to do? Well, we've got all of the trains to put into service. So uh, I need a coal train to run from here. Through to the depot, through to the uh, the logistics center there. That's number one, easy. Uh, and uh, and then we've got uh, we've got trains to fly around the uh, around the route here at Castle Rock. I don't know if I'll figure eight it. You know what? I haven't tried figure eight. I'm going to figure eight it. Yeah, 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 I'll figure eight it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instead of two routes, I'll do one because the other alternative would be to have one clockwise, one anti-clockwise, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no. Uh, and then, uh, and then there is the uh, the route extension out from Asgard, out to here. And then finally, I need to uh, I need to then make sure that all of these stations have road access so that people can actually get on and off the trains. Quite a few things to do, uh, but not so much track laying today. I, I mean, that was part of my motivation for getting the the, the depot stuck in was. I've done two solid episodes of nothing but track laying, so so how about we take a slightly different spin on things this time around? 
So first things first, I'm going to get the coal mine line uh, operating. Just to, just to, you know, just to, you know, yeah. Yeah, there you go, over to here. Now this only needs to be a tiddler. Doesn't need anything anything big and flamboyant on there. Uh, this is going to be the uh, castle. Yes, it is. Rock. Yeah, coal. Yeah. The CRC. Ah, uh, isn't it though? Only a t only a dinky little station there. Um, but uh, no, it's, it, it'll all work out. Right. Let's uh, let's buy a vehicle. Now there are multi there's a multitude of depots here, so I want to make sure I pick the right one because not every track is actually connected. You know what? Connect the track up. Yeah. I've also put speed restricted tracks on here as well. Uh, just to, uh, uh, just so that, you know, the trains coming out move with a sense of occasion and purpose. Yeah, okay. Have you got a crossover here anyway? Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as that's double slipped, which it is not. Okay, well, we might as well slip all of these then. Uh, just in case I misclick on uh, on a depot and end up with one that is not properly suited to routing things in a way that I would find uh, convenient and likable. Right, there you go. I think that, that should probably do it. As long as they route towards the outside or inside line here, uh, they can they can make it down to the bottom end of the station. Uh, which is great. And uh, as long as they can reach this outside line, they can get onto the, uh, well, onto the passenger routes, basically. So, you know, I, th I think it's there. Well, let's try it and find out, shall we? Right, I want a, I want an individual little. Oh, what have we got? Tiddly, tiddly electrics. Nothing really. The eighty six is, is overkill for what I'm trying to do here, so I think we're we're probably going to look for what's a class twenty seven. I haven't really used a class twenty seven anywhere. Uh, I, I was going to use. I was just going to use a Gronk. I'll be honest. I was just going to you know stick a, a little class o eight o nine on there and that'll be that'll be super doesn't because it doesn't need much it's only 20 miles per hour mm, i know i think you you are going to need a little bit of a heavy hitter let's try a 27 uh find me a color that you find agreeable now ah, we'll go with blue yeah okay yeah right punch it in there three and a half million well hopefully it's running costs aren't too much i mean it's going to be running full of coal pretty much every time have i got some yeah let's use modern gondolas and uh, and then we'll go with one. No, yeah, keep going. Two, three, four, five, six. That's plenty. Right. Purchase. Right. Slap that onto that, and it can find a route. Okay. Unpause. Let's watch it happen as it happens. We're coming out of door number one. That's a good thing. Are we coming out of door number one? Science point to no, unless it's coming from all the way back here, which is certainly plausible. Can we see? It? Oh, there, there it is. There it is. There you see. Can you poke his little face out of the depot? Ah, magic. It's doing a grand total of five miles per hour. Uh, so yeah, so maybe this is a little anachronistic for two thousand and five. I'm sure the professionals in the comments will be able to let me know. But at the same time, I think it's appropriate for what we're doing here. And once it's weathered up a bit, flipping it, those gondolas are large. Uh, once it's weathered up a bit, it'll uh, it'll look the part, or it better, or it'll be you know it'll be for the chop. Good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, where should we situate next? Well, down here, I reckon. It's having a it's having a solid burble. We do like a solid burble from a train. Why don't you just track it? You don't do a no, 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 not not that one. Just just something. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Something like this. Let, we don't use a, use a tracking camera very often, or a fixed a fixed tracking camera, I should say. Now I rebuilt that bridge a couple of times uh, to get the height just so, uh, because I wanted I did want because this is where the uh, the main freight inbound is going to come from. In fact, I might have just caused a queuing one there. Uh, did I? Yep, I did. Um, well, that's all. Oh, oh, this is gonna. This is gonna go great. Just leave. Leave the mouse alone. 
hopefully we get overtaken. Because we're on a speed restricted line and the main freight line that is right next to us is not speed restricted. But if we reach the signal first... Actually, I don't think I placed... I didn't place a signal on the other line. Wicked! Uh, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't move the mouse. Just be patient. Wait for it to happen. And then uh, feel the delights. Oh, I'm feeling the delights. Now, this is running empty at the moment, and it shouldn't be. Well, it should be, given what I've done to the place. Um, no, it should be running full, which it, it clearly isn't. Uh, and the, the, the reason it's running empty is because I've, I've killed all of the distribution lines. Those need to be put back in relatively quickly. Uh, I've got the signalling right here. It's, it's that we're not going to go while there is a train in the station. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's that's all good. I don't think we need to see any more of that. Do we need to see any more of that? I think we've got the feel for it. It's just going to ping pong between these two and then get held up once in a while. And we've already got 97 coal waiting. Good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to work out nicely. I might stick a wait till full on that later, but we'll see how it we'll see how it gets on on its own uh, before we do that. Uh, I th did I put another signal up here? Because I should. Yeah. Stick a signal. We, j we just use the inside line here. So if we stick a signal on there, this is. Hold on. I don't need to, because we're using the flyover. Oh yeah. So we are. Right. Okay. Well, as you were then. Yeah. Are we carrying any grain at all? We have now got grain being shipped, but I don't... Yeah, see, look, it's it's turning up, but not in not in any great shakes. That's no, okay. It's a, it, it, it's, a, it's a process. It's a working process. Right, let's go straight for the overhead line. My plan was get this passenger run set up early and then make it work by actually getting it some passengers. So we will go from Castle Rock... Right. This is such a bad idea. Uh, and then we will hit up uh, Shermer Transfer before we hit Hill Valley Halt. Erroneous signal or a missing bit of track? Uh, no, neither of those things. It's going up the wrong lane. Well, it shouldn't have to do that. It should be able to go up either side. Don't worry, don't worry about it for now. I think it will figure itself out as you uh, as you complete the circuit. Uh, then to Hill Valley and then into London Roads, Fellamy Lab, McGuffin. I need to rename some of these stations. And then finally into Pleasantville before heading back into Castle Rock. Yeah, back to Pleasantville. All right, up to London Roads. Yes, and Hill Valley. I need to rename these stations. You just said that. All right, I'm saying it again. I know to Shermer. Okay, I've no idea. I have a, I have a, I have a deep, dark suspicion that this is not going to pay off in the slightest. Right, I'm going to leave that named as line one for the moment because I'm going to go on a signalling run uh, because that may resolve the... Uh, the issues that we've got going on here. Now, the thinking that I've got is that this uh, this line that we're using... Mm, never mind. Okay, good. All right. Because we've got the line coming in from Asgard... There you go. If you do that as well, it hasn't fixed anything. All right. I might need to use a few, uh, a few signal waypoints then. What do you mean, bridge, bridge, bridge pillar collision? Don't talk rubbish. I'm just putting in some signals on track what already exists. You crazy game. Uh, there you go. Stick another one on there. I'm only putting these in for spacing. And frankly, I shouldn't even need them because I've got that many ruddy stations going on. Uh, well, it's not that many ruddy stations, but I've got ruddy stations going on. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's, it's me. I'm, I'm trying to make it sure that, you know, each signal is before the tunnel rather than leaving the passengers dangling in the tunnel. Look at this. This is going to be... I, I put in a couple of signals here just to set the uh, the direction of travel. Uh, they don't actually do anything yet. Right. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. I, I think it will. Um, it should do. 
but I mean, should is a very strong word when it comes to things that I've built. Uh, and right, and then uh, and then a little bit more over here. All right, that'll probably do it as far as signalling is concerned. Although you're going to want one here for getting into the station. Uh, I see the problem. Yeah, that needs to be a that needs to be a diamond, or does it? No, I, oh no, it might not. It might not need to be a diamond. Hold on, because if we're crossing over onto this side, it still get well, and we'll have the opportunity to go in either direction. So from here. Where can I get to? I can get up that one. Yeah. I can get up this one, which you'll never do, but it's nice to have the option. Uh, I can get to here, obviously, and I can get over there. Good. This one? One. Yeah. Two. Are you slipped? Yep. Okay. And uh, and three, obviously enough, and can't get onto four. That will be why it doesn't work. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. That's easily rectifiable. Uh, give me some. Uh, give me. Give me the big track here. I don't think you're going to be able to do it on the corner. I'm going to give it a try on the corner. You never know. Now you see, too much curvature is what you should have expected. Twenty-five is very slow. Uh, can we get in about there? There you go. Twenty-seven still slow, but okay. That should have fixed that track, which it hasn't. And the problem there will now be. Uh, platform assignments. I'll have I'll have assigned a slightly weird platform. So Castle Rock up to Sherma transfer. You have decided to go the long way. Well, you're mad, aren't you? Uh, right, add a station. Yeah, find a signal up here. That one. Ding. Right, and then up to Sherma transfer. Ah, oh, it could be that I clicked on the wrong station. Uh, here we go. Sherma's transfer but could be just the wrong platform assignment. <laughs> you can't you can't pull the wool over my eyes there, Chief. Uh, then up to Hill Valley, where we will probably be on the wrong platform again. Nope, on the right platform. Oh, why aren't you happy then? Uh, don't know. From Sherma. Yeah. So this is the problem with all this untested stuff, is you kind of go like, okay, where have I where have I broken it? So we're coming up there, we're on the correct side of the track. Train. Uh, and then, which train is that? That's the Sherma flipping mystery train. All right, can I uh, click on station to add? Yeah, this one. Yep, it likes that. Okay. All right, well, I don't think there's a gap in the overlay here. Overpass. I don't think there's a gap in the over or under anything. Yeah. And then, oh, okay. Yeah, no, no. I see it now. I, I see where the problem is. You didn't quite finish the job, son. You've got a little bit more work to do on this one. Oh, okay. Right. Um, right. So, do about that. Yeah. And then, uh, and then do about this. And, still not fixed. Have I done, not done the other end either? No, you have done the other end. Intriguing. Uh, have you got the wrong platform set? That would be my next guess. Okay, right. We can, in which case, we can kill off both these uh, both these signal waypoints. Uh, possibly even that one. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Um, I don't think I've necessarily put all the stations in the right order on this route either. Don't worry, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Okay, from Hill Valley Hot, where's it broken now? Hill Valley back to Sherma transfer. Uh, we come in on two. Yep. Uh, Sherma transfer, it's saying one there, and it should be two. Two. Bosh. Got it. That's got it. That's it. It's in place. It's working now. Yep, that's what we want it to do. Let's just have a look at how it handles the interchange down here. I think... Do you? Uh, I think the second visit to Hill Valley... Hold on. Check this through again. Uh, we start at Castle Rock, right? Platform 1. Which means that my Asgard incoming can have platform two all to itself. Uh, then out to Sherma. Yeah. 
Hill Valley, London Road, Pleasantville, Castle Rock again. Now, if I wanted to use both platforms, this would be the time to do so. Slap that over onto two. Yes. Now, that does mean that the inbound from, from Asgard is going to be held up from time to time, but it should mean that the circle line itself actually flows better. Yeah. Maybe do it the other way around. So we go uh, we go one on this one. You know what you should do? Do that. There you go. And then do the same on the other one as well. Yeah, tell it can use either. Right? And that way we minimize all queuing everywhere for all time. Okay, right. Let's now put something on it. Ah, I, I haven't even decided what I'm putting on it yet. We're going to decide in a moment. Right, buy some vehicles, please. I haven't given the line a name either. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's time for that. I'd quite like something I haven't yet used that is still uh, appropriate. What about a Metro Link? That's not appropriate. Yes, it is. That's a tram, though. Yeah, but this is elevated rail. It's not... Uh, I mean, it's tram-esque. It's got a capacity of 30, which is ideal for something that's going to be... Uh, going to be moved. You know what? I don't hate this as a concept, you know. I think if we were to use something like the Stansted Express, it's overkill. Uh, and it's going to it's going to spend a lot of its time running empty. And if you want lots of these running, then surely a little lightweight, elevated something, something, something would be ideal. The 456 comes in with quite a low capacity as well. And it's only a little two, two, uh, two coach effort. But that's, that's just because it's old. Mm. Well, you know what? I haven't used it yet. It is it is effective. Uh, let's let's go for it. Uh, we'll go with the, the Arndale Centre. Yeah. Three million a pop. How many do you want? Let's start with five and see how it does us. Uh, we, may, we may review. Uh, yeah. We may review. I may may upgrade the train, but we'll we'll see what sort of demand we get once I've hooked up all the stations. Let's up the tempo. I don't want to be here all day waiting for it to just stick its nose out of the depot. I mean, you know, we're gonna we're gonna appreciate the glamour shot. In fact, we're gonna ride on as it goes over the uh, the inbound flyover. Here we go. Yeah, inbound flyover. Yes. Yeah, bit of ballast clip there. Doesn't matter. It's for a depot. We're not going to see it that often. That's my justification, and I'm rolling with it. Right, onto the flyover. Lovely. Let's see, got a bit of coal mine going on over there. That's quite nice. There's a truck doing its thing in the distance. That's all good. The corner here, this corner, is a little bit on the whoop kind of a kind of a side, but we can live with it. I don't think the world ends because of that. I mean, I think... Also, this line will support significantly more vehicles than just five in terms of space, but is there going to be the passenger demand? Because the, the, half the intention of this is it that it replaces the... Hold on, honk. Nice. Uh, is that it replaces um, uh, buses slash trams on the interior of the town. You see, look at all these missing asset blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not do this view ever again. No. I mean, can't rule out that I just didn't find the... Uh, where's the... Where's the platform, Jeff? Don't know. Don't know where the platform is. It's dangling. Everything's just dangling. Yeah. But that's okay. We've got, we've got a canopy on there. And therefore... Ah, it's all fine. Now, the one thing... The one part of this route that will work... Well, you missed the first train. Um, is uh, is the connection between here and Sherma. Uh, that's already operational because the two Sherma stations do talk to one another. Yeah, you're on the wrong track. You're on the wrong track. You're on the right track. Good. Shouldn't have a signal there. Yeah, I placed the signal before I put the points in. I need to get rid of it, but it will be all right. Right, we're cooking now at a grand 40-plus miles per hour. This tops out at 50. There's an aeroplane. Nice. Um, we'll only go as far as Sherman. We're not, we'll ride the whole thing later on. 
when uh, when it's cooking. It's not cooking at the moment. No, it's uh, it's doing uh, some uh, some prep. Although we've got a we've got a train pulling in into the bottom station, so we might get a little bit of transfer going on. Hence the name of the station. Yeah. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. Right. Well, uh, you know, it's that's running now. Uh, you do still. Thank you. Uh, we do still need to rename the line. All right. So, speaking of trains that could probably do with an upgrade. This old soldier here, mind you, it's only got 34 passengers on board because it's got no connection to the town. Uh, or if it has, it's tenuous at best. Okay, that's running. Let's rename... That's picking up. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's rename the line. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be the uh, the Slice 8. I'm sticking with it, right? Slice is the name for this. It's, you know, it, Slice of Life. Um because these are all, uh, all, all of the suburbs here are, are abstractions of reality to a greater or lesser extent. I mean, obviously, Silent Hill possibly going quite a long way there. Um, although you may say that Shermer, Illinois is, is the one that is... Uh... Whatever, carry on. Um, yeah, okay, now what? Get the next train going. Okay, now, the next train already runs. But it's not uh, it's not done yet. Is this the, is it the Ready Connect? I can't remember which one it is. No, it's the uh, Asgard Island Traversal, uh, which is in a colour that is quite hard to see. So let's uh, let's tweak the colour and make it bright yellow. All right, we've got three trains on there already. It's turning a profit, which is super, and we'll be running more trains than that when we're done. Actually, this goes all the way to the village of the Damned. You don't need this to be the that train's doing enough already. Okay, well it's not you then. No, no, you're having a you're having a fine time already. The Hill Valley Express. Uh, that's the airport connection. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the Los Santos flyer note, Miggin Island. So it's got to be ready connect, right? I think you possibly called it that because it is ready to connect. Ah, oh, behave with your logic. Right, we're going from... Oh, Lorks, this goes miles as well. Flaming, Nora. This one goes all the way out of Failurewood. And then uh, and it swings back through Raving Citadel. Then probably Emerald City. No, it doesn't. No, no, not on this line. Oh, okay. No, I would have thought it would, but it doesn't. Okay, well, this is it then. This is the, this is the line that we're going to use, because this is going to be our, our through service. All right, so from Raving Citadel, yeah, Asgard, yeah. So after, wait, yeah, Asgard, yeah, Raving City, that's what it's doing. Is it, though? Yeah. Is it? It doesn't stop at Failure Wood on the way back. Oh, the the patrons at Failure Wood are going to be absolutely, no, Failure Wood is the far end, you dipstick. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, out of Asgard, we then head into the wide blue yonder uh, and, uh, and land in Castle Rock. Crikey, that's a long run. We do have the option to stop in Pleasantville as well, but that will cannibalise the, uh, the circuit. Now, the upshot of that is twofold. One, it will dump some passengers onto the circuit... Yeah. And two, we'll get some people boarding from here to go to the, the last stop on the line. Do you want to stop there or not? You're going to be held up behind stopping services anyway. Yeah, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it stop there. Yeah, Pleasantville and then down to Castle Rock. Yeah, and then back to Pleasantville. Yeah, and then back to Asgard. All right, back to... Asgard. Right, Asgard needs to be told both times that it can go for either platform three or four. You sure you want to do that? No, let's leave it alone. It's already assigned the appropriate platform. Um, uh, four's a little bit busy. In fact, they're all a little bit busy. Um, but I don't, I don't see that as necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. 
Okay. No, there it is. No, that's it. It's, it's doing it. It's working. Let's uh, bring it back up. Ready Connect. Uh, manage the vehicles. I'm going to buy another two. Maybe more later on, but at the moment, just the two will be fine. Now, I was actually going to change this train as well for a loco hauled job. Uh, I've got a nice virgin livery uh, loco hauled uh, uh, set up, complete with the carriages as well, uh, which, which might be appropriate. So we'll wait for one to come in and then we'll jump aboard. But in the meantime, we're going to get to appreciate that there are now a good, a good scattering, a good scattering of trains actually uh, actually working this station there will be more but i'm not sure where they're going to come from here comes our train now um as we connect this to i've no idea what because <laughs> i because i know right you are the right train yeah yeah yeah. 51 passengers on board all right let's get in okay we're going to up to uh, tempo number two because we don't want to be here all day uh yeah oh, it's great isn't it i mean i actual busy station i don't know why i don't do this more often i, I talk about not now jeff jeff not now i'm jeff i'm look, come and look at the trains no all right well look shut up no shh, shh, shh. i'm working not that that stops you we're in the tunnel um, yeah well, I didn't get to see us go through the magnificent junction. I assume we went through that magnificent junction and it looked brilliant. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe I should, I, should, I should pause the video if I have to deal with the cat. Yeah, I know. But you don't know, do you? No, no I don't. Okay. So, oh, hey, oh ah, plane. Yep. Oh, with a little bit better timing there. We could have almost... That's not... That was close. That was close to being great. I should have slowed down for that. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, rocketing through here. Now, I did put some signals in the middle of that tunnel because it's quite long. And you know how I'm, a f I'm fixated with spacing. Uh, for good reason. That's, that's why I'm... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh that's going to be quite the sight to behold as well when you, uh, uh, when you get parallel trains running next to each other. That's what the word parallel kind of implies there, Doctor. Yeah, there's, there's a little metro. Super. Oh, the other thing to consider, this train is a little long for this platform. That's okay. You would just do a radio announcement that says, for passengers wishing to alight here, get into the bit that's actually in the platform, you giant dingus. Um, yes, yes, that would probably be the phraseology that one would employ. Yeah. Okay, and then coming up on our destination. There you go. There's another little tram metro link in there. Good shake of passengers waiting. Hopefully they're all waiting for us. I would imagine they are. I would imagine they are. You, yeah, yeah. You can imagine that they are. I'm imagining it. Are they? No. The passengers we've got on board at the moment want to go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I'm so easily impressed. I don't, you know, it's all, it's all very likable. Um, now, I mean, this is a shared line with much slower trains, but I quite like that because it means after we're done with uh, with Pleasantville here, uh, I mean, you see, that's you shouldn't stop at Pleasantville because on the way out, it would mean that if we get stuck behind that train we could fly through and overtake it. Yeah. Here comes our buddy. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. I, I mean, I was quite happy with the elevated uh, the elevated rail that I'd done last time. Uh, but I think this one's I think this one's better. Yeah. I and mean, it's not perfect. You know, there's the, there are inconsistencies in the in the lay of the track. And that's that's a weakness that comes from doing all of this kind of caper on video. Is uh, is you make a concession to you know, you know get it done on time. These are all way too bunched up. Um, that's all right. It will solve itself. I've also no idea which depot it will have chosen to deploy new trains from. But hey, who cares, right? It's all doing the thing, 
and therefore it's great. Yeah, I want to. I just want to go through my uh, through my junction. Another train look. How many trains on this line in total? Five, I think. With the with the two new ones, maybe six. Um, yeah, they are way too close together. I do, they space out over time. They will space out over time. Uh, uh, yeah, there's another one. Hello. Uh, and then, uh, you know, obviously with the with this convoluted station we've got coming up here. Oh, yeah. It's got all the passengers. It's got all the trains. Oh, I love it. Yeah, no, this is... This is ticking my eyes. Oh, this doing the agenda or what? Uh, are they going to get off? Nope. They have. They still haven't decided to get off. Oh, we've got to wait for an inbound. It's another one of these. Oh, crumbs. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all right. That's okay. Yeah. These passengers are all a bit perplexed as to where they're actually going. I'm going to go, well, it's nice that this service goes further now, but this is not why I boarded the train in the first place. Double-decker bus there, look. Yeah. Right, we ought to go and make the loop work. Well, I think you've probably left long enough that we can evaluate whether the loop is actually doing its thing. I might ride that in. Yeah, I think we'll ride that end-to-end -end once, uh, once I'm done. Okay, good. We, you know what? I'm I'm happy already. Uh, now we just have a look at this, and given how poorly connected these are, there are passengers at every stop. Hey, Pleasantville's looking particularly fine. It, they all want to go to Asgard on the Ready Connect, which is no bad thing. The only downside to that is if we didn't stop there, those passengers would go all the way out to the main Castle Rock to get on the Ready Connect there. Ooh, interesting. I don't know if that's beneficial or not. No. Interesting. I'm going to leave it a little bit longer to think about its life and, and how it wants to proceed. Right, let's start putting in some road. So we need, uh, we need a road connection for this station. Uh, now, I'm not going to go overblown with this one because there isn't the space for it. We'll just go with a straightforward bit of medium strasser. Uh, and... Uh, just bang it on in. Get banged in, you. All right. Uh, if we bang it on in and connect to the road at the end there, what are you colliding with? Station building would be my guess. Okay. All right. Fine. Well, right. well, let's, uh, let's back it up then. All right. Make it work as far as here. One of you lucky people are going to be bulldozed, just so you know. Yeah, we're coming. We're, we'll be coming through there. Just be aware that uh, today might not be your lucky day. Uh, but it's going to need to be about midway along. That's really expensive. Never mind. You you figured that out for yourself. Good work. Save me a job. Uh, right. I'm also going to want to connect the other side. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Because we don't have... There isn't any access... <laughs> To this mainline station anymore. Oh yeah, okay, all right, fine. Uh, in which case, uh, start about here and get the tendrils in. All right. I'm still locked into uh, straight line only roads at the moment, which is no. I mean that's that's not a bad thing. Uh, just means that it's a little bit. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a blunt object. A, a, a blunt force trauma. Yeah. Is there anywhere we can get to? by taking this further. I don't think there is. It'd be great if it were to pop over that. Yeah, it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. There are there are plenty of ways over to that side of uh, existence. So I think we'll just take it as far as there and let the AI try and figure out how to, uh, how to connect. So there we go. Now you've got a little bit of catchment radius. Actually quite a strong catchment radius there. Uh, upstairs slightly smaller catchment radius but there is enough there to at least fuel the two and maybe maybe just maybe to get some uh, some ongoing construction from uh, from Johnny computer yeah do you want to I, I I'm half tempted to stick a road through the middle here but I think I'll leave it alone and see if the AI decides to do it later on I always refer to it as the AI it's just it's just you either call it the AI or the CPU right 
that's th those are the two options you've got now that's tendrilled so it's got connection but it's doing it all wrong so uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna tell it to do it differently Put, bang the pause on so it doesn't get carried away and then run you up here a bit yeah no no i don't i don't i, don't, I care not for your warnings or otherwise about there yeah uh, okay yeah keep going yeah but where was it going Ooh, ooh, we could go up and over and then uh, and then come back in maybe on this corner maybe on this corner oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. people will use that they will okay all right you got i think you are going to need to go steeply uphill now switch to the bendy road right off we go oh you got a tunnel just don't try don't try interfacing with the train tunnel it will end poorly if you do all right go about as far as there this is a fat bit of road isn't it yeah now if we were to no you see that's where you can't emmanuel can't very good well done yeah you played that one like a blinder yeah uh and then do this and hope it doesn't try and put an underground level crossing in there you go there you are. so you can rock up there uh yeah just have a look from the side no it's all good it's all good okay do it i i've only put that in because i think the locals are going to be truly or inspired by it you can all die uh, and then give me that track. Give me road. Okay. And then stick that in there. It's not every channel. I, don't, I was going, going you're putting some roads. And I was going, oh, you're going to make your Rodan uh, reference there as well. And I kind of go, oh, no. No. And I kind of go, it's not every channel that does uh, fine art puns. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Go on they're rubbish oh okay yeah i suppose yeah so stop it all right i will okay right there's that's you can go on you can work with that that's that's a thing you can work with that's gonna that's gonna lead to results it's gonna get us it's gonna get us something right hill valley halt i think we can uh we'll rename that while we're here hill valley right i haven't got another station called hill valley locally so that can isn't the airport called Hill Valley? Oh, whatever. Doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, crack on. What's next? London Road. Well, you do need a different name. This should either. This should be Silent Hill. Okay. Silent Hill. The irony, of course, being that there isn't a hill, and it's far from silent because there's a lot of uh, a lot of transport going on here. We do need the ability to cross to the other side. You have killed the ability to have a, a linky link link there. Uh, that's track. You want road. I know. That's my, my default behaviour is always, ah, oh, it's time to build some train track. And you're going to go, no, not today it isn't. Tendrils are in. Tendrils are in. All right, back it up halfway. Because I'm going to come around the corner, you see. Uh, and then, see, so we're going to, just slide alongside the track a little bit uh, and wait for the Johnny AI to uh, to go, oh, I'm going to build some houses. You're going to go, darn tootin' you are, Johnny. Yeah, you have you have seen the right, uh, the right light there to actually make this happen. You know what? This is suitable for a little bit of bridge. I think you're going to be hard-pressed to get anyone to build out here. You go, oh... If you connected that around the corner to this and had a bridge over the top of that that connects onto there. Yes, it's going to look ugly. I don't know why you were expecting it not to. But yeah, it is It is going to look a little bit flaming ug. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, I know. I know, I'm not keen either. Right, is that going to work? Are you trying to be... Because it's trying to build an underground level crossing again. No, there you go. We're all good. I mean, it's not necessarily a safe tunnel, but the good news is you don't really have to look at it because it's all underground and what have you. Yeah, I'll stick that in there. That's, yeah, that's going to delight and enthrall. Is it, though? Probably not. Right, and then come through here and whap it straight over the other side of there. 
without it crashing the game. There you go, right. Just like that. No undergrounds, whatnot. Okay, we'll put in a bit of that, and that's fixed that. Yeah, I just put a little hump in the bridge, you see, and that got it. Get, that got the job done. Okay, all right. Internal connectivity, my friends. It is. Uh, it is the essence of what makes towns happy and grow. Whether they do actually grow and are happy is an irrelevance. It is still the essence thereof. And uh, and as such, don't question me. There you go. That is what it is. Oh, it certainly is. You're not wrong there. Maybe the AI gets the picture. It has done over here. It's even slapped in another bit of road. Look, it's gone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm 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 well on board. And it kind of go good for you. Right. You've got this main kind of arterial road here that could probably do with a bit of upgrade. If it will fit, which it will. Yeah. Okay. All right. And let's fit this as well. Yeah. Let's up, upgrade the uh, upgrade the major connections. In the hope that uh, that we get a little bit better traffic flow. We won't, of course. It'll just uh, they'll just go. Oh, there's room for loads more traffic in here. Let's load it up. Um, but yeah, 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 you do the things you do in the hope that it makes life better and more productive for the people involved. And sometimes it comes off and sometimes it doesn't come off. You've got a Conmat factory here. Yes. Well, I'm just saying, you could connect your Conmat factory up to your freight depot. Oh, okay, yeah. Doesn't seem like the thing you've done before. Finish your passenger stations and then come back. Okay, right, so we've got uh, Silent Hill hooked up. Last one is Pleasantville, and I think... Yeah, see, these station buildings, they don't actually exist, even though they have tendrils. Uh, and therefore, you're, you're going to get clowns building on them, and you're going to go, Oi, clowns, don't. And they don't listen. Uh, right, okay, so, uh, yeah, just... Ooh, yeah. Get through there in such a way that you talk to the station bill. Now, you've just done exactly the same thing the computer had done. Don't do that. I, I'm going to have to take out another road then. Yep, yeah, kill it, please. Hang on. All right. Now you will have choices. And what do choices make? Bulldozing. That's right. And you get nothing for a pair. Not in this game. Right, there you go. That's happened um all right well i mean it means that the passengers at least have a point of ingress i mean that's a that's a start all right then slap that onto go on go on go on go on go on go on construction flipping all right make it skinny and then it'll work all right i didn't say it would look good i just said it would work and i wasn't what are you doing over there oh no 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 no, you flipping clown computer car. Right. All right, okay. No, you're not going to let me do this the easy way. You're going to make me do it the expensive way. And that's okay because I like doing the expensive way. All right, do a bit of that. Yeah. All right, and then squirrel it around here a little bit. You haven't quite made that corner. Yeah, you've, you've got that wrong. Do, do, do. Kill, kill. No, kill. Yes, right. Bring, thank you. And then... Tendrils, right. Yeah, good. And then that. Now, normally, I put in these fat roads because it gives me uh, a better opportunity to run buses and trams and, and all of that kind of great interior transport stuff. But in this case, I'm not doing that. I'm just doing it because uh, I like it. Who doesn't like a boulevard? Yeah. That's one of the things you do. Know, you're visiting a foreign capital of, of some renown, and you kind of go, oh, let's go and check out their boulevards, because they've all got one. Uh, so you go and check out the boulevards, and you go, oh, yeah, it's very booly. Um, and, uh, and then you're happy, and you go to a cafe and have a sandwich. True story. True, true story. Right, okay. We have all of the stations now connected. So that will fuel, we can unpause, uh, that will fuel a little bit of passenger growth. 
which is a good thing. Let's now turn our attention to a little bit of freight. Uh, give me freight conveyancing buildings. That's buildings? No, that's streets. You press the tab label buildings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing people do. Okay. All right, and then we'll, we'll slide on up here. We'll just put a little medium city cargo uh, hopper about there. What do you think? Three trucks? I think I think three trucks is probably the way to go. Uh, and then uh, also stick a truck depot here because I know you you de destroyed the previous one. Well, it's in the way. I didn't say you were wrong to do so. I'm just saying it's something that you did. Right. Two trucks. Two trucks, not three. Okay. All right. And then up to here. Now, that's going to be contributing to a little bit of local traffic problems, but uh, it's all fine. So this is going to be uh, slice, yeah, con mats, yeah, jibber uh, jibber production. Or poor, poor reduction, uh, which is not a good word. Okay, yeah. Uh, what are we going to stick on there? Two, please. Uh, buy vehicles. Anything you like that will haul. Well, you've got these, uh, these check man shop trucks. Which is one way of describing it. They take all cargo and how much? How much do they carry? Uh, 32 in four compartments. Ideal. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Let's have something that uh, would actually look... We'll put it in the Kentucky Fried Chicken truck. That way they won't guess that it's full of concrete. Actually, the similarities between the two are... Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. Slice, con mats, product, Go. Okay, now that's the reason I've done that is because there is stone being delivered up at the Gotham City port, and we always run the wagons that are inbound here. They uh, they always come in empty, so the the hoppers uh, they all come in empty, and therefore, by dangling the carrot of we could now use those, maybe we use them. I now need to uh, to reinstitute uh, local freight delivery. Yeah, what are you going to use? I'm going to have to use roadside, I think. Okay, well, it looks for some dense areas. Uh, actually, actually, we I don't think Silent Hill needs. Oh well, maybe it does. It's got a little bit of coverage. Well, then it possibly will have a little bit of two-way delivery, but it's not going to. That's not going to fly. Uh, right. Now, I'm not aiming for 100% coverage here. What I want is multiple product types uh, for each truck stop. So let's call that one. Right. That gives you, uh, what's that, machines and fuel and a very small amount of food. Okay. And then we'll do tools and goods. Yeah, yeah. Tools and goods over here. Okay, moving on up. And then you've got, oh, here you go. You've got con mats, you've got food, you've got tools, you've got machines, and you've got a smidge of goods in there as well. Sherman really just doesn't, they, they don't care. They want everything. Whatever you've got, we're buying. And you're going to go, oh, okay, good. Right, well, uh, grats. And then you're in range of the station anyway, so you don't need a truck stop. Do we need one in the middle area here? Maybe, but you're clutching there a little bit. I think you could you could probably do it and, and make some headway. Let's just use this bit of tram-infected road there. I think we're about there. In fact, uh, yeah, no, I think we're I think we're about there. Right. Okay. So, how many are we talking? Uh, well, zoom in just a smidge. Thank you. Uh, one. Yeah. Two. Three. And there's possibly no, there isn't. Four, yes. I thought I put one over here. No, you didn't. Are you sure there's only four? I thought I did more than that. Well, count it again, clown. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Still not very many. Never mind. Okay, right, new route. Okay, yeah. And you can go out here and then come back again. Yeah, thanks for doing it, turquoise. Put it in this kind of rooty red. All right, and this is going to be uh, 
slice freight alpha okay All right new line please All right from here yeah out to we'll do the close one thank you for doing it in turquoise try brown there you go uh slice word freight to your mother bravo okay next yeah uh, do, 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 do. that one thanks for doing it in turquoise there you go dark blue take a hint slice freight Charlie. i've got nothing against turquoise nothing against it at all except of course that it doesn't show up on the white box map not brilliantly anyway yes yes you can of course you can you can spot it but thanks for doing it Turqu uh, but you know you shouldn't have to work you shouldn't have to work at going where's the line it says squinting at the screen slice yeah freight where are we up to delta okay and then just this one to go castle rock now takes con mats as well hey see they've all they're all getting on the the con mats tip yeah dogs are kicked off next door it's, it's, it's impossible to be a professional youtuber in this environment um uh it was just well you're not professional then true con mats what that's not the word slice yeah freight indeed uh do, do echo echo right which is the close one uh victoria rose is the close one and that's bravo any others that are close no the others have all got a reasonable distance to go i think you put th three two i think you put two on each of them and bravo gets one okay yeah stick with these oh yeah because you could theme the theme the different trucks up right okay so let's uh let's have two of that all right chuck that one up alpha uh, yeah you could just buy all the trucks first silence buy more right what should we have on the next one uh, uh little no penny market which isn't a thing i know it's supposed to be called lidl if you're uh, if you're alf deutsch but we're not we're alf we're alf franglais occasional french bit of english and occasional deutsch as well well okay well it's, it's all nonsense then isn't it uh give me this yeah how many two thank you what what did i not do there well you didn't actually press the button oh yeah yes i haven't been caught out by that in a long time uh this will be charlie yes go thank you all right next uh what else we got mickey d's yeah okay here you go mickey thank you uh this is going to be delta right and then one more set I know buying trucks is riveting, isn't it? Uh, you've got Kaufland. No, we'll put this one in Coca Cola, but we won't use uh, we won't use Santa Coca Cola because it's the wrong time of year for it. Uh, right there, you go. You can go on Echo. Yeah, groovy. Right now, that should that should reignite the uh, the inbound delivery system. It might even have reignited already. What are we packing here? One loaf of bread. And a machine. Fantastic. It's only six million in the hole. Oh, you're really killing it. Yeah. It's just a shame that there aren't I what I what I want is I want a universal car that will handle hopper goods as well as everything else. Well have a look. What are we running on here? Are these sixty sixes? Forty sevens. Okay. Uh right. So go to uh, cargo. I was pretty sure I'd got some. You've got these uh, lignuses. Yeah, what do they carry though? Uh, they carry all boxed, all non-hopper goods basically. That doesn't help me. No, it doesn't. No, I want. I, I mean, there'll be a mod. I'm sure there will. What about this lengthy number? Nope. You're stuck with what you're stuck with. You could swap out the old style gondolas for the new ones that might end up looking a little better it might it might end up looking a little better do you want to go with that 26 in two compartments what are we doing at the moment 14 and 11 
Yeah. Okay, so we could go, what, seven of these. What does that give us as far as capacity is concerned? 150 odd. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go six of these. Do you want to put a loco on there? Nah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then get uh, Billy Big Hopper here. Uh, yeah. And you've got 11 on the original. Then we shall go 11 on this one. Actually, what's the original story? 18? Yeah. Okay, so these will do, uh, we'll do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Whether or not it pays off is anybody's guess, but, uh, but there we go. Right, we want an electric locomotive with plenty of grunt. Well, bang an 86 on it. Yep, which one? Rail freight, obviously. Okay. Get to work. Has it been at the front end? I think it might have done. Hard to say for sure. Um, no. no. It's all right. Just scrolly scroll, scroll. Okay, 45 million ago. Select them all. Right, replace the lot. How much does that cost to me? 180 million quid. Arguably, it was worth it. But obviously, it hasn't earned a penny yet, so we don't know. Right, I've pressed it. It's, it's thinking about it because it's going, oh, yes, you've got some new stuff. Wagons and trains and things and that stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm not certain it's done it. No, I, I think it hasn't. I think you pressed the wrong button. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so if effectively nothing happened there. Let's do it again and make it work and just don't sit around like a lemon going, yep, that's definitely got it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. And then... Gondolas, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have seen what's going on at the front. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. You don't need to double-head the loco. That would be extreme. And replace. Thank you. I know, I pressed the wrong button. It's not the first time. You can't be that surprised. 120 on board there. This is actually... Given how short the route is, I'm very pleased that that's paying off. Yeah. Okay, right. Let us review the Metro situation. Pleasantville, 214 waiting to go to Asgard. Uh, 15 coming from Silent Hill. I don't think these platforms are big enough. No, no, no that will do 155. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, and down here. 15 and 7. Yeah. One and five. Yeah, but you don't know when they last picked up. Uh, the litmus test is going to be, is it making any money? Yes, that will be the test of lit. Okay, well, why don't you talk to that one that's in there now? Because it's under the roof and I can't get to it. Well, that's a pity. Yeah. Zoom out a bit and click its icon. Well, we won't know, will we? It's not quite profitable, though. No. But it's it will get there. It will get there. Especially once the uh, the delivery of goods picks up again. Because this whole area will start sprouting like nobody's business. Right now, as you can see, we've got a few kind of minor skyscrapers going on. But nothing noteworthy. Nothing to say that this, this place is really, truly exploding. Uh, in a positive way, obviously. Uh, so, you know, we still need to wait for that to happen. I'm just doing a quick cursory check to see if there's any more goods that might present themselves. You've got another field up there. You've got some plastics and some more coal. But they're all a little bit far flung, in my opinion. More coal there. The goods factory over there. Yeah, I'm not I'm not feeling it. I think we'll 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 happily roll with what we've got. Right, coming in on the next lot on the new train. Firstly. The containers on the back of there look better. Uh, we've got 26 food, 12 con mats, and what I'm hoping for is some gravel. Well, continue hoping. Put it on your Christmas list. A couple of machines. Yeah. Any gravel? Any at all? No gravel for you. There it is. Okay. Well, do you know, patience is, uh, is a virtue. Lots of things are a virtue. It doesn't mean they're any fun. Uh, right, in we come. 
jolly good. Okay, looks so much better with the containers on there. Yeah, it does. Yeah, much better. What about the hoppers at the end? Well, they're modern at least, so, you know, can't really complain too heavily about that. We've got 160 coal and then 40, uh, 40 wheat on board there. All right, good. Right, I, I feel like, I mean, you've had your money's worth out of today's episode, but I feel like uh, we ought to ride something just to finish it off. I'm not going to go and do end-to-end because -end, that'll take too long. Full circuit on the Metro? Didn't we do that already? Can't remember. Uh, I don't think we did. Okay, all right. Well, let's uh, let's full circuit on the Metro. Come here, you. We're coming for a ride. There we go. We are at slightly higher than normal speed, but that's that's okay. That's tolerable. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, all the stations are going to be flaming hideous, uh, but that's their fault. Yeah, I'm not taking responsibility. And there's all those passengers that are waiting to go to Asgard. They're they're very optimistic uh, because they are they're clearly hoping that there are any seats left when the train comes out of uh, the, out of wherever it ends up, Castle Rock. But I think they're going to be just ever so slightly sad at the fact that that's not the case. Oh well, sucks to be them. Enjoy the horn. Let's roll. Twenty seven aboard. Okay. Train. Don't don't get into that habit. You'll be saying it a lot. I think I could probably smooth that bit out, you know. Well, you definitely can. It's about whether it uh, lays in correctly the first time or whether you're going to have to fight it a bit. Loads of passengers going the other way. Not so many actually want to go out to Hill Valley. They go, no, it's a dump. You go, well, I, I can't, can't really help you with that. 18 aboard now. Okay. Okay. See, I'd, what have we got on here? We've got five on here. I'd like to get it to about eight or nine. I think that would be the point at which it will feel like a proper mass transit interior city solution, you know? Uh, but it's okay. We can be patient. I can offset a lot of routes that don't make any money in the short term. Anyway, yeah, Hill Valley, desperately unpopular. Then you probably want to set uh, a standalone truck line out here, making sure it's being properly fed with goods to get it to sprout a bit. As it stands, these are people who, who claim they live in London, whereas in fact they, they live in the middle of Essex. They go, oh no, we're, we're out of London. Yes, very out of London. You're, you're the London equivalent of Luton Airport. Which is not in London. It makes no sense if you don't if you're not if you're not in the UK. Uh, but uh, there are a couple of airports that are described as being a London airport, despite the fact they're nowhere flipping near London. Yeah, we're only a tiny little island anyway, and and yet, and yet so highfalutin. Indeed. Uh, there we go. That's going to wrap it up for today. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. It's doing what I want, uh, which is nice. In the next episode, uh, there may be some revisionist behaviour going on here. But, more importantly, is where do we go next from Asgard? Because I don't honestly know. So, tune in for that, won't you? Because it will be a delight, and that delight will be tarnished if you're not present to be part of it. Yeah, we've got a, bit, we've got a few more big buildings cropping up, look. Just a few... But that's the that's the right sign. Yeah, I don't I don't dislike these uh, these light rail numbers either. I think they're good. I think it's all good. Right, good. I've been Colonel Failure. I will catch up with you next time. Cheerio.